Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about genetics and heredity. Are you ready? Let's begin! Imagine you have a special set of instructions that tells your body how to grow, what color your eyes will be, and even how tall you might become. These instructions are like a recipe book, but instead of cooking, they're for making you. Genetics is the study of these instructions, which we call genes. Every living thing, from plants to animals to humans, has genes. They're passed down from our parents to us, and they determine a lot of things about us. Like the color of our hair, the shape of our nose, and even how we might inherit some traits from our parents and grandparents. Heredity is how these genes are passed down from one generation to the next. It's like passing down traits from your family members. Like if your mom has curly hair and your dad has blue eyes, you might inherit those traits too. Genetics and heredity are all about how living things get special features and traits from their parents. All thanks to these tiny amazing instructions called genes. Now here are fun facts about genetics and heredity. Identical twins Identical twins come from a single fertilized egg that splits into two embryos. Because they come from the same egg, they have nearly identical DNA, making them look remarkably similar. Pea plants and genetics Gregor Mendel, the father of modern genetics, conducted his groundbreaking experiments on pea plants in the 19th century. He discovered the basic principles of inheritance by observing traits like pea color and seed shape. Dog Breeds Dogs have been selectively bred for specific traits for thousands of years, leading to the incredible diversity of dog breeds we see today. Bananas and Humans Did you know that humans share about 50% of their DNA with bananas? Blue Eyes All humans with blue eyes have a common ancestor who lived around 6,000 to 10,000 years ago. Taste Sensitivity Some people can taste a bitter compound called PTC, also known as phenylthiocarbamide, while others cannot. This difference is due to variations in a specific gene related to taste receptors. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about genetics and heredity today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!